Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. No argument from me, baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion, there he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster, what a title reign it has been, but a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here, we'll see if we get a new champion, or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age. Some differences in height and reach as well. Now here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, presenting the challenger, El Diablo. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. This is for the championship. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. They touch gloves, and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so lock the expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevents it from landing. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice punch by Lee. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Oh, nice right hand. Look at him with his hip into that kick. Oh, big left hand there. Oh, man, head kick lands. Big body kick. Big call punch land. Now he gets back to range. Over and over he's landing. Big body kick. One, 
two punch by Luke. Big kick land. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Big head kick land. Just unable to quite find that range. Well, if you like Muay Thai striking, this might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and to try to land a big one to the head. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And both guys really throwing with authority. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Oh, big punch lands. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Beautiful hand skills here. The right, then the left. Right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. He got him with this hit into that kick. Nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Collar tie there. Oh, nice punch there by Lee. Oh, the fight thus far. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Kick. These guys are going at it. Head kick. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. There's no tell on that leg kick. Ball lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Plus right hand is true. First round winding down here. All oh, the combinations continue to pile up. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills. Unbelievable strike. All right, here we go with our next round. And how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs. And when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head. And largely, that's how it's played. That's exactly how he thought it would be. And it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. Opponents not moving his head. And he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one two. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. 
sneaky head kick. Nice punch land. Oh man, that left side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. All right, let's go. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Caught that. Now there's danger in that too because he start reaching out to catch that kick. It comes to high kick and then you're in a lot of trouble. And starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Just misses with the left hook. Double jab two. What a body kick. Oh. Trying to kick the leg out. He blocks the punch. And he connects with a the punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He landed that punch over and over again. What's he going to do to follow up? It's a beautiful, fast, quick jab with meaning. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Game of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Ooh, what a punch. Nice leg kick lands. Big head kick lands. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Here's the kick blocked by Lee. Big punch lands through the middle. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Oh. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. That punch, no good. Nice leg kick. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Visibly limping here. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Let's focus. Let's focus now. Went for the inside leg kick. That is a thudding leg kick. He loaded up on that right end, too. Big kick. Get you some highlights from that previous round, DC, and how about just the, the sheer volume of head kicks for him? I don't know why this dude's energy bar isn't completely zapped. You can't throw that many head kicks over the course of a fight, but I guess if you're landing them, you might as well keep doing Ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. 
Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Throws a big... As we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice. Kick. Oh! Man, the body work continues to be a factor here. Look at the size of that bruise on his body. That shot is blocked by Lee. The guard lands the right hand. Big leg kick lands. That right hand hurt him a little Some bit. Some nice back and forth action here. Straight right hand now just misses. I mean, that right hand lands the square. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, nice check on the leg kick off right there. Big kick lands. Oh, that'll ring your bell. Head kick. Oh, nice right hand. Back and forth we go. Just out of the range with that right hand. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. And just misses with that big right hand. Can't take any of those, you better check. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, beautiful counter with the jab. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh, man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Beautiful combination there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Big head kick. Lee gets caught. Wow! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, he might be out. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. There, pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Oh, huge block! Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Now connects with the right. Nice strike. Final seconds of round three. Look at how he turns his hips into that leg kick. Well, they made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So, 
They have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, so here we go with our fourth round of a possible five, and a lot of fighters change up their training camp when they're fighting five rounds versus three. Yeah, you gotta change it up. You have to mix things up, because fighting for an extra 10 minutes is not normal. Guys don't do this normally. It's a 15-minute fight, so you have to do things physically and also mentally to make sure that you're ready to go that extra 10 minutes. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Come on, keep those hands up. Work, well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Great punch. Big head kick lands. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Big roundhouse now. Just missed. Just digs into the body. He's shot with every part of himself, and now he's got his opponent hurt. That was landed clean. Beautiful strike. Back and forth we go. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, head kick blocked by Lee. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Liver kick. What a punch. Nice body kick. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick. And all I can think of, better him than me. All right, single collar tie now. Oh, blocks that kick to the body. Nicely done. Whoa.
nice head kick. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Oh, huge right hand! Oh, look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, so we will get to the end of the round, DC. We're going to show you some highlights here. Liver damage inflicted and not by alcohol tonight. I mean, <laughs> you're funny, John. This guy is worse than any alcoholic beverage you could ever drink because these strikes to the body hurt so bad. They are debilitating. They are the type of strikes that end most people's nights. You ready to fight? Ready. So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. Ooh, big shot lands. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, big head kick there. Display tonight. Kicks hey. back to back. He's truly mixing up the target. Sight to behold. Hey. Beautiful body kicks. Straight punch land. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Just misses with the jab there. Real quick leg kick. Real nice body kick land. Trying to... Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! He's done! He's done! Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Beautiful shot to end the fight right there. It couldn't have landed much more flush than it did, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming, quite frankly, so... Near-perfect execution on the strike that ultimately results in the KO here tonight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 1 minute, 34 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, El Diablo. So there he is, the new UFC heavyweight champion, DC. I remember when that was your reality. I'm not sure I've ever seen you so emotional in the octagon. I mean, I was so excited. He could take a breath, but he better turn right around yeah, and yeah. focus on what's right behind him because there are sharks in the water the moment that belt changes hands. A lot of guys will be looking to take it from him, but congratulations to the champ. He's got his knife.